call the regular meeting for January to order. Uh, roll call. Chairman Beniak. Here. Legislator Duchesne. Here. Legislator is excuse me. Legislator Wheeler. Here. Legislator Isabel. Here. Legislator Patel. Here. Legislator Kelly. Present. Legislator Cockenbush. Present. Legislator Diamond. Present. Legislator White. Present. Okay. Could we all stand for the salute to the flag? Could Legislator Cockenbush lead us to the pledge of allegiance? Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And if everyone would remain standing, uh, I would like to recognize a long term employee that worked for the county who just recently passed away, Michael J. Pelosi from Tribes Hill. Uh, he was a local graduate of the Fonda Fultonville School here. Mike was employed as a deputy sheriff for the Montgomery County Sheriff Department for 37 years. And then after that, he did work here for a while as a security guard. He was also uh, a veteran of the Army. So if we could have a moment of silence. Record December 2015. 
2015. Have a sponsor and a second. I'll sponsor. Barbara? I'll sponsor. Martin? Second. Any discussion? I have a question. There's certain items on this that says it um, varies per year of services provided, um, yet it doesn't list not to exceed. Um, is there a reason um, that, that nothing could be put in there? I, I know that it's a reoccurring um, service in a lot of these firms we've worked with in the past especially these two particular um, that we couldn't put some form, some number in there. I feel a little uncomfortable with For all, all of them or just? Well, there's one for personnel. Okay. Um, that it just says varies per year in services provided. Okay. Um, and it's for professional labor relations services. Um, but we did pass a resolution that just that does have a number in there. If we could include that number, um, I would, that would be great, unless there's a specific reason why not. And for Eastern Medical Support, under personnel as well, it just says fees vary per service administered. Okay. But I know that that's very simple to me. Uh, I will try to get that for you for, for next month. Or would you like? Okay. Okay. I would appreciate that. Thank you okay, so much. Sure. Well, I would get that. Inf I would put that information out for next month's statement. Uh, do you want that information for this month's? If we could just put it in there, that would be great. All right. So I'm. We're. Uh, do I have a motion to table? Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be tabled. It could just be put in there. If that's what you can do. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take a vote now. All in favor? Okay. Oh, sorry. Discussion? Yes. I'm just trying to follow this. If you're going to vote on this resolution as it is, you're not going to be able to add anything to it later. Well, it's not well, a resolution. Huh? It's not a resolution. A motion. If you're going to vote on the motion, you're not going to be able to add something to it later that's not, that we're not voting on now. What if I were to disagree with it? So I, I'm just asking the chair. Legislature, we already said for this month or next month, is it she just wants it corrected for next month or she wants it in here? If she does, then you should probably wait and have a motion on this later, if she, unless you have the numbers tonight. Legislator Wheeler? I don't think we have the numbers tonight. Um, no. I wasn't able to get any response back.
Resolution 327. Resolution adopting the introductory local law G of 2015. Local law 6 of 2015. A local law to strengthen animal welfare and cruelty prevention laws as well as the owner, breeder, broker responsibility in Montgomery County, county legislator. Uh, sponsors were Guyman and Isabel. I will move it to the floor for discussion. Roy. Chair, uh, if I could, uh, if I could, uh, Chair, uh, if you could recognize uh, the Montgomery County Citizens for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, uh, folks from Animal Airs Animal Shelter and Amsterdam y YMCA, if you could uh, stand up, folks, uh, we appreciate it. I just want to personally thank you for all you do every day for, for the animals in Montgomery County. Uh, as you know, this uh, was um, presented last December, and uh, one of the good things that I, I felt uh, came out of it was that we were able to uh, implement an animal welfare investigation and cruelty prevention oversight committee. So uh, we got that covered. What this law does, and, uh, and if I could, before I get into that, uh, just recognize Legislator Kelly for all his work uh, that he put into the original document, and uh, this is uh, what we've ended up with uh, today. So uh, thank you, Legislator Kelly, for all your uh, hard work on it. Um, what we've done is focused in on um, the minimum standard of care for animals in Montgomery County. And, uh, <clears throat> As you know, in any revitalization of a county, uh, you try to build a sense of community. And uh, as you know, previously we uh, supported the poor and the elderly. We've increased uh, the Meals on Wheels. Uh, we've supported our veterans, uh, which is building a, a sense of community. Uh, we bought a new veterans van. And I feel in, importantly equal uh, is that we have an animal law that protects animals here in Montgomery County forward-thinking county to revitalize the county people want to know that uh, that's this is what we're doing so uh, we came up with this uh, uh, law uh, and I've been working with the executives team on uh, a reorganization of the department so that there's no uh, further cost uh, to the county and uh, I would just uh, appreciate your support on, uh, on this document Thank you. Um, organization. You said the Amsterdam Family YMCA. I want to want to thank you as well. Yes, you, did I say that? I'm yes you did. Thank okay, you. so you didn't mean to say that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Anyone who works with animals, I want to truly thank you. But I think that this law would actually exclude you because of um, K, the last part. Um, this definition shall also include organizations such as the, the Ayers, um Animal and the Montgomery County SPCA. I believe any additional law that would support um, the abuse of animals, I would support. But this isn't what this law does. Anything in here is covered by the agricultural and market, um, which is already on the books. Um, but one thing, Roy, that you just said is you've been speaking with um, the county executives to restructure departments for um, the enforcement of this, which has not been communicated with us. So one of the reasons why I wasn't in support is the enforcement was for consumer affairs. Now I've talked with some of my fellow legislators, and while we all know there is no such thing as a Department of Consumer Affairs, um, it would fall under soil and water, um, which doesn't have an adequate staff right now to do the work, um, and we don't know what the cost benefits would be, and our concern always goes for the animals first, and we have to make sure for the puppy mills they have to be tended to. Um, but if there's something more information that we might know if there's more employees or something um, that would be a cost benefit that we might be added into the equation um, so as of right now the re 
reason why I would not support this is um, it's already covered under the law. This would be just a um, another another thing to not to take the words from um, the wise people that I've been consulting with, but to add dust. Um, the laws are already on the books. The ag and market go and they write reports regularly on all of the standing animal welfare people that are in the county. Um, maybe not the puppy mills, but that's where the enforcement is so crucial. Um, I know that with Martins, he spent a lot of time in 
to try to do it and do it right. If the department needs to be created by the executive branch or by the legislative branch, we'll do it, we'll get it done. So it's the right thing to do, but we take the first step. And no matter what the cost here or the extra person we may have to put on, or, I'm gonna support this because it needs, it needs to happen. Sure. The, the, gov the governor's Sorry. office, the governor passed legislation that allows us to create these local laws and not go by just what the state has. So that's what we're doing here. They've given us the tools to do it. We need to act and do it. Maybe this will be tweaked later in time. Maybe there's things that will apply later on that we aren't seeing right now. But you need to have the base, the base, uh, you know, to build a house. You've got to have the foundation. We need to do this and get it done. There's nobody in this whole chamber that would give money or support to animals that, that, I, that I haven't done or would do. I'm telling you that. Now, does this law help? What, where does it help the animals? Do we have a lot of violations going on in the county right now or not? Can somebody answer that question? Yeah, we do. Um, sure. Where are the violations? <clears throat> well, i give you an example most recently. And let me just clarify. Article 26 of the Ag and Markers Law is just a, a base standard minimum law. This is an enhancement to that. This is what we were guaranteed January 2014 by Governor Cuomo that any municipality can enhance Article 26. Article 26 says there needs to be a shelter, for, for an example, for a dog. It doesn't define what the shelter is. This law defines it. So what you're telling me is people are not, their animals are not being taken care of right now in the county. That's correct. And I'll get, give I'll me get, some examples. I've asked you for examples. Show them. Okay, I just wanted to give you the base, baseline uh, okay. first. Um, with that, when a, well, there's several examples. I'll give you one most recent example in uh, uh, District 5. The SPCA came in to a person who was breeding dogs, and if dogs had chips tooth, and they had soft metal rods stuck down their throat to prevent them from barking. That was just recently. The town of Root was in all the papers and all the uh, TV stations uh, for the for the puppy mill they had up there. They're keeping those dogs in plastic barrels. And this law is now they want to they want to address chair and the sheriff didn't address that. Um, we're gonna have to uh, speak speak when you're called on. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, Right. Uh, so yeah, those are just a few examples. I mean, they're, they're in the paper all the time. I, I want to see the chair. I want to see the money go to the go to the SPCA, okay. go to the heirs, go to the people that need it, not to create another bureaucracy like we do here all the time. That's what I want to see. If the money's going to help the animals, I'll see it. If it's not, I don't. I'm not for it. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Um, I do have one technical question sure. um, for the county attorney. And, and Roy could also speak on this. Um, are we obligated under the statement of financial impact to abide, abide by that? Uh, because according to that, there is no negative impact on the operating budget. So are we are we uh, committed to not having it affect the county budget? No, that, I mean, that's a summary. Um, oh, yeah. You know, that's, asking, yeah. that's kind of a supplementary thing that goes into it, um, the resolutions. But, I mean, if, if you pass a law that has financial impacts on the county just because the financial impact statement says no financial impact, you would have to defer to the law and what impacts whatever that has. I mean, if the summary is an inaccurate, it's inaccurate. Okay. Tom? Chair, sure, this really isn't about whether or not we can give money to the SBCA or, or the air shelter. Section 3 tells us that there needs to be an enforcement of it. And, and that's what this is about, is providing the guidelines for us to work by and having, having it enforced. So we could give a ton of money the heirs or the SPCA, that doesn't solve the problem if we don't have an enforcement arm to, to handle it. So, uh, you know, with all respect to what Legislator Isabel was saying, I, I don't disagree. I'd like to give them all the money we can. We need a legislative arm that can come down on those that are, that are you know, abusing it. Okay. Martin? Okay. Two questions. Okay. First one is,
until later, that's the right thing to do. Um, but looking back, again, at pet dealer, um, I don't think excluding anybody from obeying the law, our law, is the right thing to do. Especially when um, we openly say, let's give them all our money, let's give money, money, money. You should make everyone equal um, and exclude no one. Um, because those are the ones that really do go out of their way um, to, to serve and um, set that higher example, I think, for, for the animals in this case. Um, so I think it, it might make it sound um, worse for them, but I think that they are the, the best examples in the community, so um, that's, that's just, thank, thank you. you. Does the town of Amsterdam have animal control? Yes. Does the city of Amsterdam have animal control? Yes. Do any of the other towns have their own animal control officers? Yes. So what are we doing now? Is that, can I address the, uh, chair, the uh, county chairman? Exactly. Exactly. I'm sorry. Do you, have, do you have a committee together to research this and like uh, how we just told? Well, the reference to the executive order that uh, was talked about, there was a group of people that met uh, recently. Uh, Roy has taken up the lead and worked with a number of folks to get to where we are today. So, so we do have a committee for it? There, there, there was a committee that was... Can you give us some names of the people? Off the top of my head, I don't have that handy with me now. Hearing 